Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. This is day 297 of posting chess puzzle every day for you. This one's going to be from the US uh, Chess Championship. This is round 10. White is Andrew Tang and black is Darius Swartz. And it's going to be white to move in this position. Um, please pause the video, comment down below what you think white should do in this position to win. So the first move is um, going to be rook c6. This is not a hard move to find, since um, our queen is currently being pinned, uh, and if we just take, black is going to be having a very comfortable uh, endgame, probably winning, since black is up um, one pawn, uh, the A file. So instead, we're going to play rook c6. This is a good move, since um, black is going to have to take on c6. Now, what is the point of this? Now, um, our queen is unpinned, so we can play queen e8 check. The king has two um, places to move to, because um, otherwise, rook f7, queen takes e6 check, and we are just up a queen for a rook. So first, we're going to look at king f6. If king f6, um, our rook isn't doing much on h8, so we're going to activate it with rook f8 check. The king's going to g5. We're going to um, lure the king in with f4 check. If the king goes to h4, we're just going to play g3, and that's checkmate. If the king takes on f4, we're going to play queen e5 check. The king's going to go back to g5. We're going to take on f5 with check. The king is forced to h4, and we can finish it off with g3 uh, once again. So some cool pawn checkmates here, um, but that's if black plays king of 6. So black is going to play king g5. We're going to do the same idea. Uh, with f4 check, luring the black king in, so we can deliver queen e5 check. So, for example here, if king h4, once again there is g3 checkmate, so black is forced to play um, king takes f4, if king f6, we're just going to play rook f8, and this is a uh, forced checkmate, after rook f7, rook takes, um, sorry, queen takes f7, is just checkmate. So the king is forced to take, we're going to play queen e5 check once again, the king has to go to g5, and now, um, this move is harder to find. h4 check, it's not that hard, but uh, compared to the rest of the moves that we've been mating, making, this one's uh, relatively hard to find. So, if the king goes to g4, um, for example, since this looks to be the hardest to refute, because after queen g3 check, king h5, it seems that we have um, no available checks that will bring us uh, further to mate closer to mate. But we have queen g5 checkmate, and this is actually made in one sense. The rook is pinning the pawn in h6. Um, this is a cute uh, checkmate here. So uh, king g4 is not uh, possible. King uh, g4 is not possible, obviously. King takes h4 is what black is going to play. We're going to continue with queen f4 check, forcing the king to go to h5. And now we capture on f5 with check. If the king goes to h4, uh, the recurring theme of this uh, tactic is g3 checkmate. So black is going to have to block with g5. We're going to maneuver our queen to h3, delivering check. The king has to go to g6. And then we finally capture on h6 with our rook, um, skewering the queen and basically ending the game. Because after king g7, we take on c6. We're threatening queen h6 check. We're threatening queen takes d7. And... Um, we are just completely winning. So, um, there might be something I missed. King g6 is the, uh, the third and final possibility. However, we're just going to play queen e8 check here, um, forcing the king to go to f6, and then we deliver rook f8 check, and after rook f7, queen takes f7 is checkmate. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this puzzle, and see you in day 298.